Hello, it's Sarah. Uh, happy Father's Day. Um, just wanted to make a video for you guys. The second installation of the subscription box I ordered, the art box. It's called Woodland Whimsy, and it's Erica Joanne Art. I am so blown away, you guys. I am so grateful that I was able to do this, and it is so well worth it. Um, although my finger is not good, my tendonitis, evidently I have tendonitis, and after Maddie passed away, I've been painting so much that I hurt, I hurt myself, and I should be resting it. Anyway, I'm trying. I'm doing the best I can. Um, so, we are on box number two of the Woodland Whimsy subscription box by Erica Joanne Art. The first one I shared with you guys, I did a few of the um, projects and I've shared them. I'm just going to bring them into the picture. This one was the Lancashire Moth. This was the free ornament that you got with it, that played with it. And I painted them so that they, they hang on one of my um, macrame plant hangers. I love these things so much. Erica's whole vibe and especially the the theme of this year's this year's theme the woodland whimsy you guys know if you've watched my channel for any amount of time that I love whimsical um, and it was just a blessing that I didn't even know I was getting when I subscribed it was before Maddie passed and then now it just seems like I have something to look forward to that keeps me present and um, in my serenity so here's the first project we did in the first box. Box number two was called Briar Bunny, and it's on my wall. Um, this little bunny. Um, and then box number three was called Twilight Mushroom Twilight. Here it is right here. It's on watercolor paper, etched watercolor paper. And then you glue it onto a piece of MDF board. She gives you the easel, the bling, the glitter. Everything to complete the project is included in the boxes. So that was box number one. So box number two came. And I did an unboxing, but not everyone had their boxes yet. So I kind of just didn't post it. So I'm doing kind of an unboxing as well today. So the first project, here it is. This is the second box. The May project was called Shelley Kabuki Express. This is Shelley Kabuki Express. And here he is. This is the project. It comes with all the bling. It came with glow-in-the-dark glitter, okay? It is absolutely the most adorable project. I was just blown away. I am in love with her artwork, with her attention to detail, with her delightful, uh, and it is just so delightful. Shelley Kabuki is this little snail, and that I think is an Irish term for a snail, and she even posts on her, on our Facebook page, little kids saying this rhyme Shelley Kabuki come out to play or something and the little snail comes out with his little antennas his horns they call them and then this gnome I'm gonna come in a little bit um glow-in-the-dark glitter little bling there's bling on his shirt then you get the jute twine the beads and then I ended up putting my own little ornament on top and I hang this on a macrame hanger too. I put um, Mushroom Twilight on there. This is the little mushroom that she sent in the first kit. It was just a little a little free gift thing. I put it on here and I have these threaded together and I just hang them on um, so I see them every day. I am so in love with him. I love it so much. This is the glow-in-the-dark glitter she sent. Kind of running out. Because that's the theme this year. There was a lot of, there was several, well, two so far. Two, three. There's three pieces that were in Twilight. 
So she's talked about Twilight and her imagination is just beyond. It's the most delightful thing. So I have glow in the dark glitter. So that was the first project for May. The second project we just finished last night. I just finished it. It is called Dear One. This is it. And it is similar to the Mushroom Twilight because it's on a 4x4 four four watercolor etched watercolor paper that you glue to a board and it has a easel to go with it. And here it is. Um, you guys that have been watching and following my um, journey, I haven't worked with Jasonia paint very often. I usually use the craft paint, the regular bottles, you know, like the Americana and the um, the other one, the other one, uh, Ceram Coat. So for me, this is learning. It's a little bit of a learning curve and understanding the properties of the paint. There is not, there's no sealer in the paint. So it really can come off easily and you have to be careful. Um, <clears throat> and instead of floating, Erica uses damp dry brushing as her go-to for um, shading and highlighting. So um, I'm getting the hang of it. It is taking practice and you can tell this was the first attempt at this creating the twilight glow. I don't know why I'm yelling. I think I'm just, I love these pieces so much. Um, starting to get the hang of it. Uh, the watercolor paper is really helpful because it, it has a little bit of texture to it so the paint comes off and leaves a little bit of um, the black coming through from behind. So this is See, look at the bling she gives you. And then you put the bling on the OMG, I mean the um, glitter. That's not the glow in the dark glitter, that's the like um, opalescent. But this is glow in the dark glitter and I actually did um, put it under the light and let it get affected. I just put it on the fireflies. And mine are really small. She did hers a little bigger and I kind of wish I had done that now, but there are fire, we call them li um, lightning bugs in New Jersey. Because it's in the twilight, you guys. There's little strawberries. I am in love. Look at it. Dear one is so cute. So then I did one on a round that Joe made me. And it's a little different because it's a smooth surface. This was not watercolor paper. It's just um, MDF board. So I wasn't able to get as much of the drag, like the black drag, but I kind of went back with black and fixed it. Um, and then I just pulled some bling from my stash and I put this little heart bling down here. And I'm hanging this with the other ones on my water, on my, um, plant hangers just so that I can see them all the time in my Zen Den. So that's project number two from the second box, but wait, there's more. The third box is absolute, I mean the third project is mind blowing. It's a mind blower. Okay, here it is. The Woodland Tree House. I'm going to pull it in. I took it out of the bag. This thing is above and beyond. So not only that, but <coughs> see this little fox? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Here he is. This was just an added ornament that she put in there. There's no, there's no directions. Hold on, I want to clear my throat. All right, I think that's better. So this was just a little additional. So in the first box, this was the little additional um, charm, I keep calling, ornament that we got. And it kind of, I just painted it up to look like the moth. This one, he's sitting in the tree house. This little fox, he's reading a book. And she gives you the book. There's this little book charm on here that she put. So he'll get painted. And then the tree house. So I took it, I took the 
um, pattern out. Oh, hold on, the guys are here. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. Joe's, he, I just love that he's playing with his, he plays with the, um, the Glowforge or the, you know, his, his um, laser cutters, and that's exactly what this is. All right, I'm gonna get the wood. I have to show you. Not only is her husband, I think his name is, I know his name and I forget. Oh, it's not, it's not coming to me. Anyway, look, he etches the box and he puts, I mean, and let's see, there's a picture of, look, here's dear one. Look how cute. That's dear one, Woodland Whimsy. And that's the acorns that are on the, um, and there's Shelly Kabuki on the front. Okay, so here's the wood. Let me get the wood out. Guys, this is all included in the subscription. The year, it's a year subscription. You get four boxes. Spring, summer, fall, winter. So I think there's three. Three times four is 12, yep. I think there's a project a month. Um, but this is above and beyond. I was so blown away. OMG. Okay. So this is the base for the treehouse. This is the back part. Now, she was saying, alluding to something when we were doing Dear One, who I'll just pull into the picture. Oh, my God. Um, that there's going to be an interchangeable thing. And I think that's what she's doing is kind of each box plays with each other. And that's what I'm loving a lot. Um, this is the background. See, here's the fox. And there's an overlay. So all of these pieces, this is what my husband's doing. He's, But he won't make me things because he's making his own stuff. <laughs> he's laughing. He will make me things. And he's made me this little round, you know, so I can make my own charms. But um, he does his own, like, rewards at work. Like, he makes work awards and... All types of stuff I mean he's he's very creative all right so look here's the little fox put the little fox and I did not realize look at this this is m moonlight mushroom twilight mushroom a little picture on the wall um, look let me see what else um, 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 um. okay so then this gets overlaid and you see how you can see through the so see it's behind the window how did i not i'm going to show you the pictures too but look then this is like an overlay you put on top of that this oh this went on the fireplace it's a little this goes here sorry the guys are home this goes here and oh this is a little lantern that is going to dangle from this branch. Her brain is the most creative brain I've ever seen. It's so amazing. And the amount of detail and work for the price, it's just above and beyond. Not only that, look at this. This is an actual little... Um, like twinkle lights. I don't know what we're going to do with it. So here's the picture. So she makes the, the candle look like a flame. There's candles in here. I'm sure we're putting the glow in the dark glitter on it. Um, there's a little heart glued to like, I don't even know where that is because there's here, there's a little bag inside the bag, a bag in the bag of the heart, the rope to hang the, the lantern, and bling um, it's just so well thought out so but this I don't even know how we're gonna um, I don't see where the twinkle lights are from the picture <clears throat> oh I hope I don't start coughing again so this is actually a picture of it put together you can see that it goes you know this is behind OMG, see the rope around there? It's incredible. 
I was like when I did my unboxing I think I said OMG way too many times <laughs> so but yeah so let me just I'll take off all these outside parts and just show you that this is the base and it's made with like a thicker MDF board and then these will go in the base so then there's this this is a little spacer that you put in between here to kind of keep it um, lined up so I I don't know that we're gonna glue it because like I said I think she alluded to the idea that she may be replacing this background so see well, that's a perfect view of it so that's what it looks like from the top and then from the front it's like three-dimensional right absolutely fantastic I have a spot for this already picked out in my house it's a little shelf I have a plant on the shelf right now but it's not a good place for plants anyway so let me move that out of the way and I want to show you the um, but yeah like in this box was this and the glow-in-the-dark glitter where did I put that the glow-in-the-dark glitter came in this little vial how cute Oops, it goes this way. I don't know if it does. Anywho, shine bright. And she puts a glow. Like, like, there's nothing that she hasn't thought of, you know. So, all right, this is the pattern. So, not only do you get all the wood, an extra little character, the bling and glitter and twine and beads, but this pattern is off the charts like the stuff that you get I've gotten pattern packets my whole painting career you know and different artists do it their way they do it their own way <clears throat> so what's what you get in here the back because it comes in a folded thing you get all the supplies that you need the palette and the brushes that she uses okay and then there, there's usually there's a poem on the other side this says Outside, fireflies twinkle, a celestial ballet, while the trees whisper secrets in the language of fae. And from the shadows, creatures peek and play in this enchanted realm where time holds no sway, a woodland haven cradled by nature's embrace, where tales of enchantment weave through every space. And most of them say anonymous at the bottom, and I'm assuming this is anonymous too, but all of these patterns have poems as well. Like, it's just so stinking delightful. I am, ugh, my finger hurts, but okay. So, you get the packet. So here we have, again, the palette, the brushes, the supplies, a little preamble, um, and each part in detail goes along with pictures. So this says step-by-step, step, photo eight. This is the fox insert. Photo, like, you'll see, it's amazing. Photo four, the treehouse and trunk. So the directions are so detailed, easy to follow, and, and specific. Then you get a technique sheet. Every pattern packet comes with a technique sheet that spells out the way that she does her techniques. So color mixing, washing in color, base coating in color. Um, it's just above and beyond, you guys. But wait, the worksheet, a color worksheet that describes your base coating, right? So this is just base coating. Then it starts to get into detail. And I'm assuming this looks like pencil because mo a lot of her um, shading and highlighting is done with pencil. Um, you know, and it's just look and there's numbers so she will refer to color picture number four and the written directions color picture number six number five um, it's just great and then this is the back so that was for the front of the treehouse this is the back part it looks like it's like slip slapped the the background um, the green unbelievably adorable just adorable um, so yeah, the little fox, 10, 11, 12. So he'll be able to be painted as a separate little um, ornament. 
Let's see what's on the back. So yeah, even more. Let's see, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so here's seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. And this is the base. So step by step, the faux finishing to get the rough look of the brick. And then we color it all in and you spatter. Like it's just so amazing. This is the tracing, the drawing, the actual drawing, which by the way, I don't have to trace. It's unbelievable what the etched material has done for the process because I no longer have to worry about tracing my pattern which is two steps because I have to take tracing paper trace it onto the tracing paper and then use the tracing paper to put it onto the pattern that's how we always used to do it um, so Erica is just really out front as far as innovation and creating new ways of doing it I am just I can't say enough and for the price it's insane. So here's the drawing, put both parts of the drawing and the base, because that's if you wanted to recreate this. You know, you could recreate it. You could take a scroll saw and like cut out your own little, you know, woodland house. I've done that before with different patterns, you know, before laser cutting was even a thing. Now this is the shading guide. So this even tells you, according to the dots, where to make your darkest shading and your lighter shading, you know, um, and the lantern. And there should be the back side too. The shading pattern. Yep, right here. So it is just so worth it, you guys. I have enjoyed every second. Um, we still have two more boxes to go this year. And it, I am just, I don't even know what to expect. Like, I can't. This is so above and beyond. I'm hoping there's a fairy. Like, I really want to paint a fairy. I don't know, but we had the little gnome, Shelly Kabuki. You know, I guess he would be called a gnome. He doesn't have wings. So, um, hoping there's a fairy. I don't know. Like, I can't even imagine the things that she can imagine. Um, it's just unbelievable. Let me see how big he is. Oh, he's pretty big. But you got, like, because if this is a fox house, it's a pretty big house. He would be much, much smaller, you know, this big. So, um, I am just, I am so in awe. I'm so grateful. What else was I going to tell you guys? Um, okay, one more thing, just off topic, completely off topic. But all of this information I will put in the chat for you guys. This goes in here. Um, the, there are three Facebook pages, but you can just go to ericajoanneart.com. That is her main website where you order pattern packets. And you can look into if you wanted to join the VIP group. I'm pretty sure you could still do that. I, the subscription box is closed, I'm pretty sure. I think they made all the ones they're going to, I think they did around 125 or so. I don't know for sure, but when I watch the lives, I'm not sure. I Don't quote me on that. Um, so that's closed because they had to put the boxes together and, have, and send them out. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but it's a lot to undertake. Um, there's the paint and pencil paint and pencil with us group and they do weekly no 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 monthly I think monthly little this was part of that that group she did these at Valentine's Day and I did these I had Joe cut me some hearts and you can paint and pencil along with her um, I did just order the little book that she's been working out of it's a watercolor paper book with an ornament cover, an MDF cover, and she's doing a, p a pattern kind of a month from that. And they're all Christmassy um, things. So if you got a little round and wanted to paint them on that and you can work along with her, it's called um, Paint and Pencil With Us. So I'll put those three links and her website in the description for you to go and have a click and look and see if there's anything that um, you want to sign up for um i love it 
I am in love. I am in absolute love. Look at dear one. It's amazing. Okay. But this is the other thing I wanted to talk about. I think her name is, oh no, do I have my, this is a micro mosaic. So let me just share this real quick. Her name is, um, I'm sorry. It is, I'll find it. I think um, it might be on my other email. Janice Peacock. So this is not, this I got from Etsy. No eBay. I got this from eBay and it's called a micro mosaic. There is another artist on YouTube that does these, but what this is is little tiny pieces of glass that are put into some type of a substrate. I'm not sure if it's clay or what it is. These were made in Italy. And I just wanted to have one because I've been they've been on my radar. And don't you know, I Googled it. I put in micro mosaic class and I found one. Her name is Janice Peacock. And my package is going to be coming on Tuesday, I think. Because I ordered the kit to... I want to show you the picture of the project we're going to make. Right here. This is, nope, that's not it. That's the wildflower one. She taught this one a different time. Um, but she sends you the kit and all the information. Here it is. This is her. Janice Peacock, artist and author. Um, I am trying to find the picture. And I don't see it. I don't know why. That stinks. But it's very similar to this one. It's not this one. It has fewer flowers. It's more, I think it's more kind of like this. So I'm going to be taking that class Sunday. Um, no, no, this coming Saturday. I should get my kit, so I'll share that when it comes. And, um, yeah, I don't know why I don't have a picture of, this was a girlfriend of mine, her mom had one in her stash. So, she actually had one, because these were very popular in like the 70s and 80s. These little micro mosaics from Italy. Um, I don't see it on here, why? I'm pretty sure I took a picture of it when I signed up for the class. Oh well, I have so many crafty pictures on here that I can't keep track. I just wanted to share that with you. So I will be taking a class and I will get back to you and let you know what I think. That's it you guys. Um, happy Father's Day to all you dads. Let me pull in my dear one and my Shelly Kabuki. So cute. I'm going to zoom in a little and maybe it'll be my um, screenshot thing. And thank you, Erica Joanne, for your beautiful, whimsical artwork. I love it so much. Thanks for watching and have a grateful day.